Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. We here at the Grunt Auto Works know what you want. We brought you the Rancorous for that day-to-day -day adventure that involves a family of some description. We brought you the debauch for when you've got more money than you know what to do with but want everybody to know about it. We brought you the brazen, just in case you needed to go stupidly fast when you're not stuck in traffic. But we know what's missing. We know what you want. You want to go off-road. Right then, so many car models to choose from. Uh, we need to choose something appropriate. Yeah, there it is. That's the fella. Big, beefy, off the road. Rather like myself. Yeah, okay. So we'll, you know, we'll put some axles on it. I think that's a good way to start. We'll bang the lethargy in there. Mighty engine. Most definitely. No, I don't think we don't want that. No, no, no. You get, We want to be able to put people inside it. Therefore, it needs a... Oh, okay, I guess I've decided that we don't need a, a back hatch on that at all. No, I'm, look, I'm just not... We're not here for a pickup. Pickup truck, no. It's, it's not going to... Uh, sporty roof, no. It's just... Gen, I'm generally not feeling it. I'm, I, I think... Uh, I think there you go. See, I mean, that's... That's almost done already. There, we're, we're pretty much there. Yeah, make it all black. And uh, and I think what we've got here is uh, something that is equally welcome in both the armed forces and uh, for those who want to conquer the school run. Um, but it's, yeah, no, it's solid for certain. Oh, just, I mean, a smidge menacing, maybe. But uh, but I don't, think, uh, I don't think menacing is necessarily... A bad thing. I think that that adds a certain uh, a certain level of authority and uh, and road dominance that your modern driver's going to want. And obviously, for that, you're going to need a lot of headlights. Uh, but presumably, because the driver is so far away from the road, you're going to need even more light than usual in order to be able to actually ascertain what the heck is going on ahead of you. I mean, as it is, you could get a Fiat Punto out in front there and uh, and crush it and probably not even notice. Put that on the marketing. That that's that's a feature. What are, what are we doing? No, see, I mean, that's that's not a, that's not a design we should go with. It's it genuinely isn't. It just looks. There you go. That just just looks bad. Come up with uh, come up with some radiator action to start with, because that real that will really set the uh, the character of the whole beast. Yeah. Now, now I mean, it's an, it's an American style motor, so we. We do need the uh, the radiator to be about 86 times the size that it actually needs to be. Uh, American cars, they love to have a really big mouth on the front. That's if you're anthropomorphizing your vehicle, of course. Uh, yeah, you got a mo monstrously large radiator. It's only got a lethargy inside it. Admittedly, it's pulling 67 tons of vehicle, uh, so it might be working a little bit harder than usual. But there we go. Look at that for a, a rear facade there. I mean, you could park it wrongly and people would assume it's a shop. Uh, yeah, yeah, M more brake lights. Yeah, because, I mean, obviously, if this stops abruptly, it won't. Um, but on the assumption that it could stop abruptly, uh, you could run into the back of that. It wouldn't notice. You'd, it'd just kind of go clunk. And you're going to go, what, uh, what happened there? No, I've got no idea. It, also, I think it could possibly double as a hearse. Yeah, indicator repeaters. Yeah, solid. Solid, I mean... Uh, that way, when uh, when your court case comes up, you can say, "No, I gave the cyclist adequate warning uh, before uh, before mowing them down." Oh, that's a that's a sporty location for the indicators. Oh yeah. Oh, I th I think actually we, we, they're called turn signals. They're called indicators because they indicate your intention. Turn signal. It doesn't necessarily imply that you're turning. Veering. I think is probably more likely in uh, in this number. What's this half-light window business you're mucking about with? No, 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 no. Keep the design simple, friend. Keep it simple. Keep it uh, Keep it on point. Yeah. Does need something in the roof, but I don't know what. Let's get a petrol cap out of the way, and then that's that's that dealt with. Yes, it's good that it's got a nice big area for the petrol, given that it gets almost three gallons to the mile. Um, that's that's going to... Yeah, that, 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 yeah, lovely job. Because that way we can use the whole of that rear hatch there. They'll go, oh, I would have thought this had more storage. You kind of go, it does. It stores a lot of petrol. Um, yeah, because it, it drinks it. Like, there's no tomorrow. It's, it's, got a, it's got a problem with petrol. You know what? Big mirrors. Oh, yeah. No, that's that's it. It's like truck mirrors. You want truck mirrors on this uh, this 
off-road behemoth uh, that uh, that says uh, I'm in charge and uh, and you can get out of here. Yeah. Uh, what what what's this? Why are we mucking about with aerodynamics? I don't think it's going to make the slightest bit of difference. I was I see we're we're aiming for more aggression. Okay, flaring nostrils is uh, is where you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean. No, that's it. No, that's, that speaks to me on a on an almost primal level, yeah. And uh, obviously, we'll put the uh, the radio receiver in the in the back there because uh, you're going to want to intercept the government signals because you know they're they're watching out for you. They're always listening. You want to, yeah. We'll we'll put a license plate, but we'll we'll see if we can come up with some kind of James Bond rotating license plate kind of a deal, kind of a thing, um, so that you know the man won't properly be able to track you because he's trying to. Yeah, right. Bumpers, important safety feature. Not that we need it, but it makes other people feel safe to know that you're going to try and avoid colliding with things, whereas in fact you can just drive through pretty much whatever you like. Can't find a parking space. Park on top of the car that was there in front of you. I mean, you. This is going to have no chance. It's, you, I mean, we may possibly need slightly beefier wheels, but let's leave that as a as a something to ponder as maybe a second iteration. Uh, these bike tyres that it's got going on at the moment, that's, that's probably going to be fine. Yeah, lump of sheet metal welded to the front. That's safety. Yep, yep, totally is. Right, let's, uh, let's put the big G on the back. Big G. Super. Uh, good, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I feel like we're getting somewhere. Uh, I, th I think stylistically... There's a lot. There's a lot going on of uh, of merit, and I think by uh, by giving it uh, tires there, or or rather the hubs that uh, that are fundamental rather than anything more, you know, more zesty. Uh, you you're saying uh, no. I'm I'm a man of the people. I believe in uh, in amendments. Couldn't tell you which ones, but I believe in them. No amendments are what make things great. The ability to change our mind is is what's tremendous. As long as you don't change your lane too often, you'll be you'll be solid. But changing your mind, well, uh, do do we think we can make this work? I don't think we can. I don't. I I genuinely don't see what that's bringing to the party. I mean, I, I appreciate the the potential need for a a pintle mounted uh, machine gun that could come up through a slidey plastic hatch in the back there, but it I don't I don't see a market for it. I mean, we're, we're not including a lifetime supply of, you know, uh, a hollow point ammunition. Not that you're there, but at the, oh, oh, well, well you're on to, you found a slider that does something meaningful here. Uh, do you think we could have tyres that are just maybe slightly wider, perhaps? Just a little bit? I mean, these are a little bit on the skinny side. I do, I do worry for the structural integrity of, of that which we're building currently. Um... Yeah, it, this this feels rather like you've taken a stagecoach, and uh, they're trying. To, are we in Back to the Future land or something? I mean, the profile's pretty solid, but then you see the tires themselves, and you just kind of go, "Well, I, I, I wouldn't trust that. They're going to bend the first time you hit a pothole, especially since it's carrying sixty-seven tons of weight uh, on top of it." Anyway, uh, talking about performance, yeah, let's have some. Yeah, let's let's put some put some performance in there. Do things with performance, please. Uh, slide the, the... Yeah, do all of that. Lots of it. I want as much of that as you can give me. That's fantastic. Yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely. A bit prone to oversteer. Do you think that's going to be a problem? No? Okay. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, no. I, we're settled on this, are we? Well, I, I mean, I suppose uh, I suppose all we really need to do... Oh, we're, we're still dithering with... Um, I mean, working on the performance. Yeah, the... That oversteer is a little bit of a problem, because you oversteer something this top heavy and it's it's likely to fall over. You're the engineers. I'll I'll let you work on that. And don't think for a moment I didn't see that understeer graph. I, I I saw it. It happened. That was a thing. Is that red flashing light a problem? Is that something we should worry about? We're just going to get onto the naming and the advert now. Right, you are. Okay. Well, let's let's do that then. It's the 21st century. It's a complicated time, but we are gonna keep it simple. Liberty. All beef patties and a side of fries. 
the bass on the radio. Oh glory. Mom's apple pie. Playing catch in the yard. The lethargy small block engine. Homecoming. Dinner and a movie. Tom Brady. The partisan loyalist. 4x4 XL Freedom. Relax, big guy. We got you.